there's nothing like steaming your face, opening up the pores, and get things going. It's perfect to do before you apply your makeup. You should drape a towel over your head and let the herbal vapors bathe your skin for about two minutes. It's so refreshing. Afterwards, I love taking a cucumber and just rubbing it all over. And you just take it and rub it all over your face. And then if you get hungry, it's a great snack. And when you want to use it again, all you have to do is slice a little bit of the end off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. The yogurt is fantastic. It makes such a wonderful mask on your face. Just put this on all over. Sit back and relax. Read your morning paper, relax. What? This can be snuggle time with your kitty while she exfoliates your face. <laughs> right, honey? Yes. Just pat it. Never rub. Treat your skin gently. Every morning, I start my day with splashing cold water on my face. And yes, I do wake up looking this good. I am going to show you something that is going to kick your eyes up a notch and look very sexy. To do everything the way I do it. So what I like to do is take the shadow that I use on my eyes and I like to blend that in my lower lash line. And I'll take a Q-tip if I can't find my makeup brush. I'm just gonna take the Q-tip and I'm gonna put it right under my eye like that. You want to blend it because you want to soften it. You want to soften the look. Just make sure everything is soft. You want to soften it. Keep softening. Soften. Like that. Fabulous. I'm going to do the same with the other eye. I'm just going to bring it here. And I'm just going to soften the look. It's important to make it look soft. If you get a little bit sloppy, just take the other end and just blend it out. See how that makes my eyes pop? I know. It's fabulous. Then what I like to do is take an eye pencil and then I like to get right in that waterline and I like to go all around in a circle. Just like that. See how my eyes just pop? Perfect, right? You never want to overdo this for the daytime, though. Oh my gosh, I just love it. So then, I'm going to take a mascara. And I'm going to apply my mascara. And you want to apply a lot of mascara. Put on a lot of mascara. You really want to apply a lot. And use several coats. Just get it all over in your lashes. Don't forget the lower lashes. Like that. I'm going to do some on this side too. See how pretty that is? So pretty. I know. Then we want to put a little bit of under eye concealer on. I know it looks like I have some on, but I don't. So I'm just going to put a little bit right here. 
in my eyes and I'm just going to take my fingers and I'm going to pat them. I'm going to use my two ring fingers and I'm going to pat that in and what that's going to do, it's going to make my eyes pop more. So I'm just going to blend that in gently. Blend, blend, blend. Like that. Then we're going to go back and we're going to take a little bit more of that blue and we're going to blend it in a little bit more. Because we need to soften it a little bit more. Just like that. Press the powder into your face. It'll stay a lot longer then. Now we need to powder. Make sure that you're powdering your face. You want to press it in. You don't want your makeup to go anywhere during the day. Go over your whole face again with powder. You want it to all stay in place. You know, you might be on the tennis courts with your girlfriends or shopping and you just want all of your makeup to stay perfect. Am I right, ladies? I know. So just pat it in and make it look fresh. If it seems like you overdid it a little bit, no worries. You could just go back over it and then apply a little bit more of your blush. I don't look particularly made up, do <sighs> Oh, my hair's looking a little bit messy. I need to, I need to fluff it up a little bit more. Bigger the hair, closer to heaven. Bigger the hair, closer to Jesus. Just to cover up any little imperfections you might have under your eyes, any dark circles. If you've been out a little too late the night before. You also may need to touch up under your eyes because maybe the night before you got a little crazy. <laughs> or maybe in the morning it happens. <laughs> Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. So now that we're finished with our look, I don't know, I think I need to fluff my hair just maybe a little bit more. It's just, I'm having such a bad hair day today. It's just not staying full, you know? Oh, more hairspray. Okay. I think that's, I think that's a little bit better. <laughs> I like when it's full on the sides, you know? I like when my sides are really full, you know? Get those wings going on the sides, like that. I think that's, I feel like I need a perm. It's been a while since I've had a perm. Whenever I have a perm, my hair always styles better for me. So you know what I thought you ladies would love? You're probably wondering where I get my clothes. So I'm gonna do a little fashion for you. I have some dynamite clothes to show you, so. Let me show you my little fashion, okay? Okay. Let's take a look at some dynamite fashions and ways to wear them. one because it goes with my eye shadow today. I think it looks really good. So, oh, that's it in the back. I'm not going to show the back. Just, just kind of take a look at the front. Isn't it darling? I love the lace on it. Hopefully what we've achieved here is a look that's pretty and made up, but not at all flashy. There's a time and a place for flash and uh, we'll get to that. I think it looks fabulous. <laughs> okay, I hope that this was enjoyable for you today. I hope that you picked up a couple of good makeup tips for me today. Just remember, ladies, you want to always soften your makeup, so make sure that you're softening this look. Oh, you know what? There was one more thing I forgot to talk about. The eyebrows. Now remember, ladies, if you don't have hairs on your eyebrows, you can simply draw them in. So I'm just going to make little hairs just like that. If you don't have hairs, just put them in. 
Mm. Just like that. Now remember, don't overdo it. You don't want to be outside and have too much makeup on in the daytime. You always want it to look fresh. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. I'm here every week sharing more beauty tips for you fabulous ladies. Until next time, bye. Oh, and let me know if you want me to share a hair tutorial on my look. Okay, that's it. Okay, bye.